Do you like my new look? Mixed reality has come a long way since Microsoft released the first HoloLens three years ago. Many consumers, though, will never have seen the changes leading up to the HoloLens 2. That's because these devices are focused on the workplace, not on homes. Its target is what HoloLens creator Alex Kitman calls first-line workers, those jobs in industries like healthcare and the military that require manual work but would benefit from visual aids. Take construction, for example. I'm going to be operating and fixing this thing? All right. Right in front of me is this huge blower. It pushes air through a wastewater system. And what these glasses are letting me do is look at what's happening inside of these gears. So I can have an idea of what I'll need to do when I'm operating and repairing this machine, but seeing everything first through the mixed reality system. So now it's showing me how the parts will come off of this gigantic gear in front of me. I would actually be doing this manually. Yep. So it would just be walking me through and showing me what to do, but I would be doing the actual work with my hand. It's three and a half thousand dollar price tag is geared to businesses rather than everyday consumers. That cost brings significant advances. One of the main criticisms of the HoloLens 1 was its limited field of view. The HoloLens 2 more than doubles it. It also has eye tracking sensors, increased resolution from the equivalent of 720 per eye to a massive 2K, and improved balance and weight. By targeting a much smaller, business-oriented audience, Microsoft has paved a path to bigger returns in mixed reality.